Hi again. Welcome to part 2. Today, we're turning 2D into 3D. In this video, some steps might be a bit tricky, but if you've watched my previous videos, you'll catch on quickly. Alright, let's not waste time and dive right in with the gradient tool, it's perfect for smooth color blending. You can add or adjust colors directly on the gradient line. Look up at the context toolbar, where you'll find options like context fill or stroke, and different gradient types. I often use the elliptical gradient because it gives a soft, rounded effect, great for shading. You can stretch or shrink the gradient in any direction. Make sure to check the maintain fill aspect ratio option, depending on the shape you want. Once you're happy with the style, save it as a style for future use. If you need a refresher, check out part 1. As you watch me work through this process, just enjoy the ride. Now, some might wonder, why do it this way when 3D software can do it faster and easier? Well, this is more of a study exercise because this method gives me full control over the look and style, which is important for art toy design. For this character, I'm designing it as a display art toy, so the design is simple and not overly complex. This process is about creativity, the design can evolve as you go. Unlike working for a client, you don't have to stick to a brief 100% unless they tell you. It's up to you. The concept is simple, draw shapes, apply styles, add shadows, highlights, and effects. It takes more time than regular 2D drawings and has more steps, but the results are totally worth it. Quick tip for shadows and highlights. Use a dark background, solid black works best. It makes highlights and shadows pop more clearly and helps you balance the contrast better. You can also use tools like the brush, pen, or pencil for details and add effects like Gaussian Blur or the Transparency tool to create smooth fades. Feel free to combine vector tools from the Designer Persona and Raster tools from the Pixel Persona for more flexibility in your artwork. For this piece, I spent around 2 to 3 hours, too long? Maybe, but honestly, I kept tweaking and adjusting along the way. That's just part of the creative process. One thing I really love about Affinity Designer is the adjustments feature in the layer panel, such as brightness, contrast, and color adjustments, everything is built right in without needing external plugins. I know some people might say, this is too complicated, too many steps. But for me, what matters most is how the final piece can be used. It's really not that different from traditional drawing, shading, highlighting, and coloring, just with digital tools. As always, I'm not telling you to stay in vector mode the entire time. Once you're happy with the vector shapes, switch over to Pixel Persona and use familiar painting tools to refine the details, just like you would with any drawing software.
In my opinion, a great piece of work comes from paying attention to details and adding your personal style, make it unique. I'm no pro in this field, I just observe, learn from others, and keep practicing. Alright, that's it for this video. If you're curious about this style and want a full step-by-step -step tutorial, drop a comment. And hit that like button to let me know you're enjoying this, I'd love to make more detailed videos for you. I didn't make everything in my work perfectly polished, just a guide for you. Before we wrap up, enjoy my video and have fun. Thanks for watching.